right, the great search with DigiKey every single week. Lady Ada uses their superpowers of searching the DigiKey site to find the type of electronics and parts and more that you're looking for. You need, everyone needs, and uh, with billions of parts, you got to figure out how to find them. So, what is the great search this week? Okay, the great search this week is going to be on micro SD card holders. It's a very common uh, little accessory that we like to put on boards. And a lot of people like to put on boards. Why? Because you can get a micro SD card anywhere. It's very standardized. They're very inexpensive. They come in like every capacity you could ever need, like gigabytes down to like a couple megabytes if you really you know don't need that much. Um, they're easy to interface with. Every microcontroller, microprocessor has a library for interfacing with SD cards. So if you need storage, SD is definitely the way to go. Um, but you need to have a holder. You need to have something that you plug that SD card into. And uh, I realized while reviewing this design that it's actually kind of not intuitive, all the different kinds of SD card holders that are available. They're a little different than battery holders, even though they look similar. Uh, so before we um, go to the great search, technically, let's go to the overhead real fast. And I want to show off the different kinds. So when I talk about them, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so this is a micro SD card. Uh, this is a common little doohickey. It's got eight pads on it. You can talk to it via SDIO or SPI and check your microcontroller libraries for which one you're going to use. Um, this is a common holder that we like, and I'll show how we find this one. But what I like about this one is it's push-push. So you see there's this loose card, and then you push it in, and it clicks in. And then when you push it again, it pops out. Nice thing about this is it's like, I find it like, ooh, it's like you push it in and it pops out. How convenient. There is this problem though, and of course it won't happen now, but like, it, yeah, actually it did happen. You, you do it wrong and it flicks across the room and I'm never going to find that SD card. It's okay, it's a blank one. Um, thank you, Mr. Lady, <laughs> for, for finding the SD card. Um, I had a spare because I knew it was going to happen. Uh, so this is uh, you know, another, another version, again, push, push. Uh, same card holder and then um, this is a teensy board and this has a slimmer one so what what's nice about this one is you can see physically it's slimmer it's a much smaller holder uh, because to fit between these two headers this one is not a push push it's a push and then pull so I have to pull it out which one's easier? I don't know. I mean, like some people like one, some people like the other. The Raspberry Pi used to be push push, and now they're push pull. Um, so you see, you have to push pull. There's one thing: if you have a push push type and you pull it out, it can kind of get into this weird, like, confused state where it's like, why did you just pull? Like, it'll let you pull the SD card out, but like the spring will be like confused, and you'll have to like push it in a couple times for it to, to reset what it thinks it's doing. Um, but now that we've, uh, you know, looked at the, the two different kinds that are, I think, the most important, let's go to the computer now. We can really great search it out. Okay. So, um, let's go, so this is the, the card, but we'll, we'll start from the beginning. So one thing that's interesting is that uh, if you type in micro SD card holder, which like, you know, you'd think you would do, it actually comes up with no results. Um, that's because, uh, these like you know we've talked before sometimes mechanical stuff especially is in a place you don't necessarily expect it um card holders are actually under pc uh card sockets they're they're actually called memory connectors how are you going to remember that well you watch the great search and you remember it's called a pc card socket so the pc card socket area it's 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 kind of a, a busy place. You've got, and then we'll look at card type here. You've got the MMC SD, you've got memory stick, nano SIM, micro SD and SIM, there's combos that you can get. Compact flash. If you're designing something with compact flash, I feel really sorry for you, but you can get those. Fax modem socket, PCI, SIM, SIM, PCM CIA secure digital. So there's a lot. And the thing is, it's, it's a little confusing because you'll actually see the same thing appear a couple different times. Like for example, micro SD has micro SD and UFS. Wh why? I don't know. There's also micro SD up here. There's also mini SD, which is actually different. It's a, it's a now a dead standard. There was a, something in between micro and, you know, full SD card. The rest are these SIM cards. So you know, there's MMC, but multimedia usually that means the large SD card. 
Um, not here, but on other sites, you might also see this called Transflash or TF card. Um, why so many cards? I don't know. The, the, the card itself is standardized. Everything else isn't. That said, um, I think we've picked out all the ones that say micro SD. So let's apply. Okay, great. So now we have 131 to look at and we can start looking at images and say, okay, yeah, this starts to look right. But there's like, you know, like what's this one? Why is it so short? And what's going on here? Like why it has a hinge? Why is it, why is it hinged? Um, so let's also just look at the active ones. That's about half. And then, um, so mounting type is really easy to uh, review because again, th there's through hole and then there's surface mount and there's dash. Um, I didn't want to show you the through hole because I thought this was like super cool. I was like, well, I was like, why would there be a through hole? So this is a through hole vertical style. And I don't know what it's good for, but I'm sure somebody's watching is like, that's really something I need. It's like a vertical step. It sticks straight up, right? Which is cool. Like, it's unusual. Um, you're not going to see that most of the time. What you're going to see is uh, right angle flat against a PCB. Why? Because you have so much pressure going against it that you need to have it flat and well soldered so that when people, like, they do a bad job inserting it, they don't, like, wrench it off of the, the board. Um, you can see here the insertion method. Uh, push in, pull out, or push in, push out. So you, that's the thing I showed you. There's also hinged, which I don't have any examples here. I've never actually seen a hinged one, but the hinged ones are cool. They're like SD card um, uh, sockets, which I do have an SD card. So I can show you what it kind of looks like. So, so maybe you'll go to the overhead real fast. I'll show you. This is, a, this is not an SD card. It's a SIM card, but it's the same concept. So with the hinged, like you, you slip the card in and then you click it. Why? I think, first off, you don't have to have it in your card. You don't have to have this on an edge of a PCB. You can have it anywhere on the PCB because you open it up instead of having to like, you know, with, with these, it has to be at the edge. Otherwise you can't get the SD card in because you have to maneuver it. It has to be a flat insertion. But with the hinge, you don't have that. That said, you know, in this case, we're not gonna do hinge. So I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna not select those. Um, although I'll say sometimes I see like hinged even though it's not hinged. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, computer. Sorry. Um, okay, so I selected only the push pull. And then you're like, well, what's this? These are actually really cool. And I wanted to point them out even though I, I have not used them. Um, but I have seen these. The first time I saw these was on the VS1000 audio module. And this SD card slot, what's cool about it is it's like the SD card sticks out a lot. Like it sticks out quite far past the, the PCB, but the connector is so slim. And another thing that's nice about it is the connector is a little elevated. And so you can actually put it like alongside a, um, a chip. Like it doesn't, it can be... In, it doesn't have to be at the edge, it can be a little bit inset and then there can be like components where the SD card would cover it, if that makes sense, because only the end of the SD card um, gets inserted into the socket. Um, so I've seen this where it's like weird angles, like you need it to come in weird or there, there's not enough space for the full SD card, so like this overhangs. So these overhang style, I don't know what they're called, but I'm gonna call them overhang style or like mini style. I've never used them but they're like super cool. Um, okay, then there's that slim style. This is the, you know, what we saw on the, the Teensy. Um, but the style we want is actually, um, you know, like the, like the ones I have on the Feather. They're very inexpensive. Uh, so let's go for uh, push push type, because that's what I use. The rest of this is not like, you know, there's, there's, you know, board guide, switch, whatever, contact finishes. None of these are really important to me. I'm going to select normally stocking. And then um, I sort by price. And especially if you're looking at prices of like, you know, 250 pieces or more. Um, this one actually, have, this one's a new one, the MEM 2051. Uh, but this one like is basically what I use. This is kind of a generic uh, connector. So I would recommend this one. Um, I will say that there is this very uh, cute, the second one on the list by price is this very cute hinged one, which I think if you're going for a hinge design, I like this. It has the lock, you know, it slides out like the sim, you plug in the micro SD and you slip it in. 
And then um, for those ultra slim style, this kind, it's only pull pull or push pull. So it depends, you know, if, if you need that slim style, you're not going to get the spring. Um, one thing I will say to watch out for with these is um, you can use these for SPI or SDIO, it doesn't matter, they, they give you all the pins available. Um, this is a pretty generic type, uh, however, um, the back pins, there's these two back pins, which there's, you can kind of barely see like right here, they are a card detect. And what happens is that they're kind of, it's kind of shown here. This little pad here connects to a mechanical piece that when you insert and remove the card makes a short to ground. So you can use it to detect physically if there's something in the slot. However, some have opposing polarities and some have like two pins that you have to connect or disconnect and some are normally open, normally closed. I'm only letting you know because I've had the issue where it's like I found a connector and I was like, Oh, this SD card is the exact same SD card slot. Yay, I have two options. But I didn't realize that even though mechanically, like it looked the same, um, one had the switch normally opened. So when there's a card in, it's open. And one had it when the card is in, it's closed. And so like that, like really confused customers and testing. And I eventually sorted it out. But like, I didn't think to check for whether the sw which way the switch worked and it's that's not standard even if the rest of the pins are standard um that said this is a great part i like the price how can you how can you say no it's you know 70 cents in quantity comes in real um it's a good deal and it's in stock so this is a good micro sd card holder and i recommend it all right and that's a great search yay